Hi, this is Bob. Today with our video newsletter we're talking about our spark testers. Uh, we use a spark tester to test the, the quality of a weld. After you've done a weld, you can take the spark tester and you're looking for a spark that goes from the electrode to a piece of metal or a conductor. And that'll tell you, even as small as a a pinhole if there's a bad weld in there and the electrical current can get through it that means you're probably going to have a leak. Um, what I'm going to show you today is a couple of different ones. I've got in my hand the, our BD10AS. This is used for intermittent testing. Um, it can be used for 10 minute intervals basically. Um, and then we've got over here our more heavy duty BD50. Um, this one has uh, a transformer which allows it to run cooler so you can actually run this for extended periods for up to three hours. Um, the current is adjustable from 20,000 volts to 50,000 volts using this little knob here and the voltage varies kind of based on the tr electrode that you're using. This is our standard tip electrode that comes with the unit. We also have a fan tip electrode and a brush electrode and a few other ones. This would allow you to cover a wider surface area than the small area of the, the pointed tip. And when you're using this unit, what you're going to do is hold it about one inch. The, the total area or it has to be within an inch of the electrical component or the piece of metal that's going to conduct the part. Now what I've done here is I've cut this piece of plastic in half and we're going to weld it back together but underneath I've got a piece of aluminum foil. That's my conductor there. And so I'm going to lay this piece of plastic right over that conductor and I've already got my spark tester plugged in and if you zoom in here you'll see that if I'm testing and I have not welded it yet, so it's going to conduct the spark. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and do a weld, and then we'll do it again. And just to show you that hopefully there's no spark. We've got our BD10AS spark tester. We're going to run along the line. We still have our aluminum foil underneath the piece there as our conductor. Put that back down there. So here we go. Okay, so we now have tested it. We're good to go. And um, thank you for joining me on this uh, video newsletter. And uh, also wanted to mention that we have one other spark tester on our website. It's called the PST100. It's a pistol grip spark tester and actually has a little bit more range. As I said before, we have to be within an inch on this one. The pistol grip gives you a little more range. You can find that, find that one on avion.com. And thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, give us a call. Or if you need some testing done, let us know.